Hi, welcome to Just Praise Him. Uh, welcome Tracy, Tony, Candy, uh, Amanda, uh, Karen, Tom, uh, Lupe, uh, just uh, welcome, Mari, everybody, welcome uh, to uh, Just Praise Him on this beautiful Sunday morning. Okay, so um, let's pray and then we'll begin on hearers or, or hear the word. Okay, so it's entitled Hear the Word. But uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for your word. We thank you that it is true. We thank you that it, it, it penetrates our hearts. And Lord God, we thank you for your healing. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you that everything, everything that we have, Lord God, and we thank you for it, Lord God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, it's important to understand that now faith, as the Hebrew 11, 1, now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So where does faith come from? Now, I know we, we've tackled the, the topic of faith before, but where does faith come from? Well, according to Romans chapter 10, verse 17, so then faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Let me read that again. Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. It's important that you hear the word of God and it it's invaluable, okay? Just the only way the expression I can use is invaluable, the word of God. And, and it's given to us freely and it's given to us that we can have it daily. Um, but how does it work? Well, simple. You hear it. It... it, it Salvation, you were saved because you heard the word of salvation. Now you developed faith in it. You believed it. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. What we listen to, what we, what we hear is important. Uh, you wouldn't have gotten saved if it wasn't for hearing. You heard the word of salvation. You heard that you can be saved. You heard that you will be saved. You heard that of uh, salvation message. You heard salvation testimonies. You were moved because you heard. You heard the word of God. Uh, it could be hearing or it could be hearing. Okay, You hear with your ear, but you hear with your heart as well. So, it, it, if you listen, if you listen closely, you will hear the word of God. You will hear God speaking to you. Now, again, salvation comes from hearing. Healing comes from hearing. I mean, if you if you never heard, if if you never heard that Jesus heals today, then why would you believe he healed? See, uh, salvation and healing are one and the same. Um, that That's a different message entirely, but uh, salvation and healing are one and the same. And when he heals you, you heard it. It's because you receive it because you heard it. Um, it's important that we understand this, that, that we, we believe it, that we receive it because we've heard it. See, it, it, it comes down to this. You first heard you were saved and then you were saved. How then shall, uh, let, let's look at Romans 14 and 15. How then shall we call on him in whom we have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? 
seeing, they have not heard. And how shall they hear without a preacher? See, they, they need us. <laughs> uh, we speak the word of God. And and just, just okay, I'm not the only preacher. Uh, Joel Osteen is not the only preacher. Every, everybody else isn't preaching. But you are, you can be the preacher. You can be the preacher that speaks the word of God. So we'll get to that later. Okay. Uh, And how shall they preach unless they are sent? And it is written, How beautiful are the feet on those that preach the gospel of peace and who bring good tidings. It's important that you preach the word of God because those people will hear the word of God. Again, hearing and hearing and hearing. Um, Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, but what does it say? That the word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith. That which we, That is which we preach. That if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. See, you first heard the word of God, and then you were saved. You first heard it. You hear the word of God preached, and then you were saved. And then you speak it, hearing and speaking. It, it, it's just, it just common sense. Now, and again, it just it's more than salvation, because salvation includes healing. So you have to be healed by the Lord. And how do you? How are you healed? You hear the word of God constantly. I, it's important for me to say this constantly. You must hear the word of God. You listen to him on tape uh, or or CD or on your phone or on a computer, uh, but you hear the word of God being preached. Uh, and, and, and there are tons of preachers. YouTube has a lot of preachers you can be listening to. Now, I I expect you to listen to good preachers um, and just you can listen to me. (laughs) But uh, Facebook and YouTube and all this preaching is hearing the word of God. It's if you hear the word of God, then you will be saved. If you hear the word of God, then you will be healed. Hearing, hearing but you also have to speak it. Speak it, hear it, speak it, hear it, speak it, hear it, speak it, hear it, speak it, hear it. Hear it, hear it. It's, it's a cycle. You must hear the word of God and then it produces speech. So again, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Um, you, you, you listen to um, positive people. And then you will develop a positive outlook. Now, if you listen to the negative, you will, I mean, if you listen to the negative, you will end up with a negative attitude. You will end up with a negative output. It's it's, it's a natural occurrence. It's It's a natural happening that if you listen to negative speech, if you listen, okay, let me put it to you this way. If you listen to the doctor, the doctor has a t- and, and the doctor has a negative report, and you believe, now watch this, and you believe the doctor, then you, you're going to have that. You're going to have what it says. Now, if you listen to the voice of God, and you listen to him saying you're healed, See, then you're healed. Uh, it, it all depends on what you listen to. 
it, it's important that we hear, that we listen to the word of God every day. Despite what the doctor said, despite what the finance people say, no matter what anybody says, listen to the word of God. So despite what your friends say, listen to the word of God. If you, in hearing negative or doubt or worry, you're going to have negative doubt or worry. I mean, th this verse could be translated, okay, into this. Ready? Fear, doubt, and worry comes by hearing, and by hearing negative words from the enemy, or hearing, or, or faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. See, you choose. What you listen to is important. It's okay to watch TV. It's it's okay to listen to radio. But what are you watching? What are you listening to? What are you hearing? If, you, if you're listening to negative more than positive, okay, if you're listening to the devil more than you're listening to God, well, it, it, it goes without saying. Listen to God more often. Listen to, to, to his word being preached. Listen to his... Uh, his sermons are fantastic. His words are, man, they're great. Listen to his words. What is he saying? And he'll speak to your heart. That, 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 oh my God, that is so important. He speaks to your heart and you're free. You, you are healed. You are whole. Your financial well-being will, will be in place if you listen to God, if you hear his voice. Not, not just on what to do, but in, in rough situations, he, hear, hear the voice of God. John 10.27 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they will follow me. John, John 10, 27. I'm going to read it again. My sheep hear my voice and know them. And I know them. And they follow me. My sheep hear my voice. This is a way of distinguishing the voice of God. Now, the devil can come in and he can talk to you. He could sound like God. But the sheep know the voice. You know, you, you know in your knower, you know in your knower, you know in your heart when God speaks to you. You'll, you'll, it'll be clear. Excuse me. It'll be clear. If you speak what God speaks, if you hear what God says, it'll be clear.